The last tool I showed you was Trello. And so that one's mainly focused on you know, project management and making sure that you can organize your calendar, the various courses you're taking, your life outside of your courses. So it's more for organization, while it's Notion is more for note-taking, though organization is a part of it as well. So Trello is more simple of a tool. I have a video tutorial below in the description, but today we're talking about Notion. And so if you wanna find and have one place where all of your notes for all of your classes can be, then this can be a really great tool because it has a lot of features and so you can do a lot with it. So I'm gonna show you here. I already had this example, but we're gonna start from scratch. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go here and go to add a page and you're gonna decide, you know, what do you want to call it? And so it might be, for example, fall semester 2021. And so you have this page and then you can you see these tabs, right? The database is a more advanced. We're not going to go into that in much detail here. But what you can do is, OK, well, maybe there's a template you want to start with. You can investigate those. But I just recommend you start from scratch. And so you just click in. And what's great is, as you can see here, type the backslash for commands. So you can do, OK, backslash. And now you have all these blocks that you can use to create this page. And so you might start with, okay, I'm gonna start with a heading. And my heading for fall semester 2021 is, you know, maybe what courses I'm taking. Okay. And then you say, all right, enter backslash. Now I'm gonna have just text. And I'm going to name all the courses I'm taking. All right. So ENC 1101, Bio 1102, maybe COM. 2000 and let's see what are the ones I know here uh, maybe business 120 and these are four courses that you're taking right and you can keep going and you can build the page as you'd like but a lot of it is a bit more interactive than just words on the page so potentially you can say okay here's the umbrella page but I want to add a page inside it and so you can add one for each of your classes so now you have, all right, ENC 1101 is a page. And then you have here another one, Bio 1002. And you have that one there. And then you go again with COM 2000. Right? And finally, Business 1020. And now you have a page for each one, so you can just go ahead. I would recommend and delete these because what you can do here is, all right, you know, here are the courses I'm taking. And if you want to see one specifically, you can say, I want to see my COM 2000, and it links you directly to that page. And so having, again, one umbrella page where you can link other pages to it, or your course you can use if you want, you can just have each course is an umbrella page rather than having the fall semester one be the main one but obviously it can help organization keeping this clean if you have the umbrella for the whole semester so that is what i recommend but now you have a page for each one and so you can go in here and you can decide well again how do you want to design it so potentially you want to have a heading that's week one and so for each week you can have potentially well here's what the homework is for tuesday and here's what the homework is for Thursday, and you can just write that down so you can remember when your instructor tells you what it is. Or you might have, okay, I want to take notes, right? So maybe you have Tuesday's class. Okay, wait, I don't want that to be a, you know, text. I want it to be a heading. So you can go ahead and say here, all right, let's look here. And I actually want to go ahead and maybe color it. So it stands out more. So let's have the color be blue. And you go here and you say, I want this to turn into heading one. So now it's bigger. So you can just always switch between different types depending on what you want. But you have that here. And maybe instead of just text, you want to create a list. And so do you want to do list inline, list full page? Like, okay, maybe that's a bit too complex. Let's go back here and go down page to do list that's what i want and so now you can say all right well tuesday's class we covered these three things one two and three 
and I need to make sure that I do them before Thursday's class, right? Because she mentioned them during the lecture. And when you do them, you can just mark them off so you know that you're done with those tasks. Obviously, you can use this tool for the homework as well. All right, and then you can go ahead and see here, all right, what else do I want to include here? So maybe if you go on down, I want a bulleted list. It's not a checklist. This is just me taking notes on what's happening in that class. And so that's another option too. And you keep going. You might want to use a numbered list if you're doing notes on a process. What are the steps, right? So you can do that as well. Maybe there's a specific quote that you really want to emphasize. Maybe you want to divide your notes into different sections. So you want to use the divider. Okay. Again, you can link to different pages. For if you have different pages for the same course, right? You can link them together. You can make text stand out by having a call out. So if I show you here, it, it gives you a little icon there, so it's easier to see it, right? And you can do here and say, "Oh, this is really important." She mentioned this is going to be on the exam, so I want to put a little symbol next to it. So that's a call out. So really, the sky's the limit here. You just want to go through and figure out which ones do you want to use. If you keep on going, we do get a bit more advanced where you can mention people in case you want to have group elements. And again, the databases are much more advanced. You can create boards, you can create tables and calendars, timelines, definitely a lot here, but I'm going to keep it simple just for this particular tutorial. You can see which ones you want to use and then you hit media. So maybe there's certain images that you want to include as part of your notes or a video from YouTube that you want to embed or audio, right? Whatever the case may be here. You can do your own code if you are a coder. And then finally, here are some important ones, especially Google Drive. So you can embed different documents that you're working on for your assignments. So that's a big one as well. So you can just go through and see, you know, which ones might you want to include in each page of, you know, the Notion app. Table content is a great one because when you use this, if you use the headings tool, then it automatically updates it with the headings. So as you notice here, week one was a heading, as was Tuesday's class. And so both of them automatically appeared in the table on content. And so just to show you here, if I did something else that was a heading, so maybe rather than heading one, we did heading three, and it's called this. As you see, it appeared underneath Tuesday's class because it's a subheading. So then you can have, all right, Tuesday's class, and maybe you have a subheading for notes, and then you have, again, the heading three, and now you have a section for the homework being assigned. And it automatically appears in your table of content. So you can click and just drag it up so it appears at the very top. So like, okay, I need to go to the homework for Tuesday's class. Let me click it and it moves you down the page. So that's a really great tool. That's the table of content. Okay. And you just keep on going. I think those are really the main ones that you might wanna use. Again, embedding videos and embedding Google Docs would be very helpful for you know, note-taking in college. But there's definitely other things as well that you can use. So you can kinda of just go through and see what do you wanna use in your particular page for your classes. Okay, and then once you have something written, you can see if you potentially, again, want to do some revising of it. So you can delete it, you can duplicate it, you can turn it into something else, right? Um, you can go ahead and make a comment if you want to comment on your own notes. And again, you can change the color of the actual text. Or if you want to make it more visually easy to see, you can create a background color instead. On the top here, you'll see these things. So if you want, you can add a cover just to make it a bit more visual. And you can say change cover or reposition cover. So that's one that's here. I'll go ahead and leave that. You can say add an icon and it can be an icon connected to your class, right? So for English, probably something connected to writing would be the ideal. And they do have different colors here. And so now I have that icon. So it's easy to spot in 1101. So again, it's a note-taking tool, but it's a really advanced one. So that was just the simple tools. As a quick showing you, if you go to templates, then you can see, okay, well, which type of template am I looking at here? An education one, one for class notes. If you click on it, it will show you what this looks like. 
So as you can see, it has a table already built for you and you can just go ahead and edit it to make it match your, your particular courses for the semester. You can go here and say, okay, well, you know, a syllabus, that's more for a teacher to use, right? If they were gonna design their course using Notion, right? Same with lesson plans. You can kind of see here, maybe course schedule is one you want to use because then you can just go ahead and edit in these elements. So let me show you that. Let's say use template and it's created it for me. So now you can go ahead and go in here and say, all right, well, in this course, it's not an essay, it's a writer autobiography. And its due date is in October 2nd, it's the 24th, right? And, you know, right, so only one date, right, the, the 16th, let's say. Well, what is it? It's is it a lesson, is it an assignment, or is it an exam? It's an assignment. Well, what's the topic? Definitely not pre-revolution, right? So you can say here, you know, myself, because it's an autobiography, right? Or you can decide, you know what, I don't really need this one. It's not going to be a topic. I'm going to change this, right? So maybe you want to tag it, you know, in its difficulty level. And so now you'll use, you know, easy because it's only one page. It's a quick thing. There's no research. And then maybe you have a final exam. And in that case, it's hard, right? And so you can get a sense of how much time you should be spending on each of these elements. So this is a bit more advanced, but it is an option if you want to use it. And you can still, underneath it, add more information as well. It's, you have here, new, you can add more columns, more rows. And just notice that that course schedule, that template, actually replaced the whole course page. So you want to be careful there using templates, make it a new page so you're not replacing things accidentally. If you do make a mistake, you can go up here to the right and say undo. And just keep undoing it as much as you'd like. You can also add to your favorites so you can more easily see the board because now it's under favorites on the left hand tab. And if you don't longer want to be favorited, you can go ahead and say remove from favorites, and then it's gone there as well. And you can kind of see here, right? You can export it if you want it. You can move it somewhere else. You can copy the link and share it with somebody if you want to share your notes with them. So there are options there under the, that little icon on the, the top right. I do recommend signing up with your EDU email address because I believe that will get you access to a more advanced version for free. Though I haven't tried that, I do believe I heard that is the case. A few other things, if you do quick find here, you can go ahead and search through your recent pages and then move to it quite easily. So let's say we click that and now here it is. And then you can see here if there's any updates, right? In this case, there's a reminder about chapter one in one of my other pages. So that's a quick overview of this tool. There's a lot that can, can be done with it. Notion has its own YouTube channel that has a lot of tutorials. I recommend looking at that if you wanna do more advanced features like the databases.